guys, today I'm going to be making a vlog. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, I have no plan. I thought it would be a fun thing to do. <laughs> I'm having my morning coffee in my favorite mug. Mm. It's me and Buddy. And today we're actually having coffee from uh, Starbucks. Yeah, it's three slices of bread with some Christmas ham. <laughs> These are with mustard and honey. No, those two. And this one, these ones with mustard and honey too. <laughs> Christmas calendar time. Ooh, it's a big one. Oreos. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that this calendar, I, it's, uh, it's great, but so far, it's basically been three types. It's those eggs, which we get almost every day. Then there's these, which we're looking forward to, which are really good and then once before we've had Oreos and now again every day now we've been doing like a comp not not a competition but like is it a competition there's a picture inside picture inside every one of these and we have we try to guess what's going to be in today's calendar and she <laughs> She sends a snap to her family and they have to guess as well. Yesterday Matt said it's either a sled or a present. And he said, I'm gonna go for sled. And I said, okay, then I'll say present. Guess what it was. A sled with presents on. <laughs> <laughs> so we both won. Yeah. <laughs> but I think you won double though. <laughs> what, you, what are you guessing it's gonna to be today? Bell. Bell? Yeah. I'm uh, going to go for <laughs> one I've guessed the most and failed on. Christmas tree. Okay. Okay. That's definitely not a Christmas tree. <laughs> a gift! No! <laughs> oh no! And we usually share this one. Thank you. Also, um, a tiny update on the um, gingerbread houses. No! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I said in a video that I wanted a ghetto house. I think we've kind of, <laughs> I think we maybe managed to do that. <laughs> that was the intent. Yeah, all <laughs> along. <laughs> so I just uh, arrived at the office. Marita is home today uh, doing some filming. Uh, so I thought I'd just kind of like show a little bit about what I usually do well, should usually do uh, in the mornings while I'm here. This is what my desk is looking like right now. Since last time we got these uh, woolly mats. They're really nice and really soft and it kind of helps with the uh, warmth. And we also got these like daylights. The sun doesn't come up in Norway or at least in Oslo until like nine o'clock and it goes down at three. So we, we decided that we needed to get some lights. So this is showing the amount of time the sun is up. You can see it's rising at nine and you see the tiny little curve. That's how far up the sun's going and it sets at three o'clock. That's, that's why we need these lights. Well, what I started doing uh, in the beginning of uh, this whole situation was like every morning I would sit down for 20 minutes and uh, sketch because I wanted to become better at illustration so every morning I, I sit down and I kind of it doesn't have to be anything big it can you know um, just sketch something quickly or uh, work on something long long term like this one this one took me like a while to draw and it ended up in there and sometimes there's like just a random one like this. Pumpkin spice uh, latte print turn into this. It's not too far off. Anyway, so I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna sketch. I'll sh if, if I do come up with something, I'll, I'll show you the sketch. Also, if you're wondering what this is, it's um, a drawing glove. 
so it's like when when I draw my my hand doesn't you know it glides over the screen anyway I'm gonna get going uh, update on the drawing uh, it didn't go so well <laughs> I ended up just making a couple of parcels but that's that that's it that's good enough for me I put pen to paper and that's all that matters I should maybe say something about like maybe why I decided to do this so the reason why I wanted to uh, do uh, vlog or something like that was kind of just to help out a bit because <laughs> who would have thought it that making an episode every single day would be so stressful and like Marita said yesterday it's like doing that and having a full-time job it's kind of difficult to balance so I wanted to do my part and help out and also because I kind of thought maybe it would be uh, cool for me to do this it's easier to do when you're both and I've tried to make an intro once before <laughs> and that was difficult being alone so uh, I'll answer some questions from Instagram let's see there's none I don't have any question to me on Instagram I will see you guys for lunch just checking in I was gonna save these until lunch but I think I'm just gonna take them now I need the sugar motivation This is my lunch. <laughs> it doesn't look really appetizing, but it's leftovers from um, the dinner we had yesterday, which was like a pre-made um, spaghetti pack we bought from the store and we added like minced meat to it. So I've just heated that up. Uh, I'm gonna eat that with this fancy bronze fork while I'm doing that. I'm chatting with Marita and she just informed me that she'd done two videos. Should I? Should I film myself eating? No. What I usually do after lunch, I have one of these. This one's caramel. And... Yeah, look at that. Again, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> and so far, it might be actually really boring. Yeah, and one thing, I also um, finished my um, coaching. I did go down in weight, so I did trim off some of the body fat. But there, there was two things that kind of ruined it, and I think these are basically, they are both my problems. One is I wasn't consistent enough, and that's, uh, and that's in regard to tracking macros properly and getting into proper exercise. Now, the exercise has kind of been difficult because the gyms have closed, but I was also struggling a little bit with the motivation to work out. Um, and I attribute that mostly to the fact that I didn't have a plan. And hopefully the gyms will be open again so we can start working out again. But also like uh, being active and like walking a lot and stuff like that has kind of been, I wouldn't say difficult, but it's kind of like we haven't been really motivated to do so because it's getting colder it's been raining a lot uh, and it's just dark it's dark and depressing so it's like you, you, you don't really find motivation to do it all right back to work marita had a taste test today and she tried it tried these RX bars and they're kind of knock obnoxious knockoff version of it <laughs> it's exactly the same yeah. except for this one where it says no BS on these ones it says contains no bullshit <laughs> yeah. so I'm just gonna quickly try them all did you you haven't told me what you thought about it no I haven't okay I'll just start with a peanut butter one well well, it tastes peanut butter, but Jesus, that that's thick. Yeah, <laughs> that's chewy as hell. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure if I could eat the whole one of these. No. Like, just because, like, it would, my jaw would break. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like the like the the fatty part of the of meat when you have to, like, chew and chew and chew yeah. and chew. Yeah. Oh, this one's got salt on it. Yeah. That's kind of cool. 
I think I prefer this one to that one. It had more of a um, chocolatey taste. Peanut butter chocolate is the next one. This is not the consistency I thought they would have. I kind of imagine it would be more... Soft? Yeah. Seven and a half. Seven. Six and a half. And I'm gonna try this one, coconut chocolate. This one kind of seems like it's gone out. <laughs> it hasn't. It smells... As I said, as I said in my taste test, I am not sure if they are as like chewy and because we have had them for a long time mm -hmm. but they haven't gone out so they should have been better i feel like yeah this one had like a tiny flavor of coconut but it was kind of more like perfumed yeah six and this is the blueberry Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> this one had a nice flavor it's kind of fresh mm -hmm. it's it tastes like fake blueberry. But it is, I, I would assume it's real. Yeah. Because they're very like natural. Mm hmm But it's good. It's the best one so far. Eight. Okay. You gave this seven and a half. Yeah. I gave it seven and a half. Oh. You gave this seven. I gave it seven. <laughs> you gave this eight. Yeah. I think I gave this seven and a half or eight. You gave this six. Yeah. I gave that seven and a half. Oh. Because I thought that was a lot better than that one. And you gave this six. Six. I, I gave this six. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's pretty spot on. That's pretty spot on. All right. Cocoa hazelnut. Mmm. The consistency of these were a lot softer. They're kind of like a mix between Quest Bar and a brownie. I mean, it's good, but the burnt hazelnut is really overpowering. Five, cocoa peanut. Mmm, that's a lot better. That, that is kind of like, you know what reminds me of? It reminds me of a chocolate cookie we made when we were keto. Seven and a half. Coconut almond. This one. I can see that th you've eaten more of this one. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so I'm gonna assume it's good. Mmm. I can see why. Eight and a half. This one's the winner. This one's good. Now, mm. dinner. Dinner. <laughs> <laughs>